Christopher Matheson. Questions posed to me. Uh, when did I learn my right to remain silent and, and exercise it? When did this happen? Okay, so true story. My first stint in prison, uh, I had a buddy. He was a cellmate of mine. His name was Jeremy Sinclair. Rest in peace. He's, uh, he died in a police shootout a few years back. Um, but he was in there for murder, and he... Uh, he told me the power of the police thinking that you might give them something, anything, like, especially when it's a class A felony, which, you know, robbery, homicide, I don't count the fucking sex cases that are disgusting, because they're not real, you know, they're not, they're, they're, those are real crimes, those are fucking, I mean, so is murder, but you know, anyway, I'm, I'm getting off subject here. Uh, so he was telling me that we made kind of a pact to say, you know, if we ever get arrested again, we would go balls to the wall and try to get as many cigarettes, sodas, candy, and we went as far as to say, do you think, I, I asked him, do you think they'd give you a pizza? And, you know, and he said, yeah, if they thought the case was worth it, they'll do about anything to fucking get you to talk, so... That's where it started. Now, I didn't start really appreciating the Constitution until, I'd say, uh, after uh, after the second video, after the video that you guys seen when I got rearrested re and had to go back on a parole violation for uh, two years. I um, I was in maximum security and I had, to, I had cellies that obviously went to trial and lost. And they had great insight as to how the whole thing works and what to do, what not to do. I read legal thrillers. Uh, I believe it or not, I read um, The Lincoln Lawyer before it was a movie. Like I remember, it was a green paperback. Looked like it'd been around the bend for 20 fucking years, but it was a great story. Way better than the than the movie. But um, yeah, I just you know confidently took notes. And, oh, here's a cop what not have you and I'm gonna act like I'm talking so I remain calm and all that shit yep yeah. and now here I go I just got a ticket I'll be posting that one here in a minute I don't think I, I, I have to say that my whole world has just been flipped around because I've never met a sweetheart cop before I met a fucking sweetheart I mean this motherfucker you guys gotta understand that whenever I get pulled over, it's usually a standoff because I don't want them to fucking, you know, I, I just, I, I really cherish the constitutional rights, as should you. In fact, I'm going to be teaching a class here on YouTube pretty soon, and we're going to, I don't know, I'm going to start making shit fun for you guys, because you guys do so much for me, I'm going to pay it back with uh, lessons in law enforcement or some shit. I don't know what I'll call it. But anyway... That is when uh, it all fucking stemmed from, but, you know, before I, but, you know, the interviews came before my hardcore studying of the law, but, uh, so basically, I just knew that, you know, after spending years in prison, you know, you get to know that anything you say can and will be used against you. I mean, it don't matter. Nothing can help your ass now. It's always best to say there's nothing I can do now a lot of people think they're smarter than the cops and they'll they'll talk their way out of this short term misery and worry about the long term later it should be the opposite you worry about the long term and say fuck it like that parole violation I did for two years for nothing uh, because I mean they didn't have no real fucking way to send me back other than the lie and, and you know, we'll get into that later, but yeah. Um, it's best to fucking just be an asshole for the short term, know that you're not gonna get out of jail anytime soon, but to know that you're not gonna go off and get some fucking life sentence because you are thinking all the way to court. Always think, what would a jury believe? Quotes of Jeffrey. You guys take care, bye-bye.
Merry Christmas.